Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding ethical principles or principles of ethics in research. Okay, principles of ethics in research. So what is research ethics or what is ethics in research? Research ethics means in every profession there will be a code of conduct. There will be a code of conduct that is what are the things you can do and what are the things you can't do. Okay. What are the things you can do and what are the things you can't do? That is code of conduct. In research also, there is a code of conduct. That is called research ethics. The code of conduct in research is the research ethics. Okay. What the researcher can do? That is what is the right for the researcher and what is wrong for the researcher? What the researcher can't do? That is research ethics. What the researcher can do and what the researcher can't do that is research ethics we can see the principles of ethics mainly you can see three principles first one is principle of beneficence second one is principle of respect of human dignity and principle of justice three principles are there first one is principle of beneficence principle of beneficence according to this principle the participant that is the person who is participating in your research your subject okay the person who is participating in your research should get the maximum benefit and minimum or less harm okay those who are participating in the research they should get maximum benefit and they should get only minimum or less or no harm or no side effect the benefit should be maximum and the harm or the side effect should be very less. That is the first principle, principle of beneficence. The things coming under this principle is, first one is non-maleficence. Non-maleficence, that means doing no harm. Doing no harm. Okay, so for this, the researcher should take all the action to prevent the harm okay the researcher should take all the action to prevent or to minimize the harm or the side effect okay the researcher should take all the precautions the researcher should take all the precautions to prevent or to minimize the harm according to your study the harm may be different sometimes it may be physical harm for example any injury to the participants sometimes it may be psychological harm that is stress or anxiety to the participants sometimes it may be social harm that is there is no social contact that is they are uh, participating in your study they don't have any contact with the family or they don't have any contact with the friends as well as financial harm they are participating in your study they can't go for the job so it will affect their salary they will not be there will not be any wages or salary to them so you have to minimize such harms physical harm psychological harm financial harm as well as the social harm you have to try to minimize or you have to reduce okay so non maleficence means doing no harm okay no harm should be there and the benefit should be maximum next one coming under the principle of beneficent is the right to protection from exploitation okay the right to protection from exploitation exploitation means misusing or utilizing okay you should protect the participants from misusing you have to protect them from exploitation or don't utilize your participants the information shared by them the data you have collected okay the information shared by them it should be used only for the research purpose it should not be used for any other purpose the information shared by the participants should be used only for the research, only for your research. It should not be used for any other 
purpose. So, exploitation should be protected. Misusing of the participant should be protected. Misusing may be in the form of sexual misusing or the financial misusing or the emotional misusing. All the misusing or the utilization of the participant should be avoided, should be protected. All the exploitation should be protected. You have to protect them from utilizing or misusing. Okay, that is the second thing coming under the principle of beneficence. Next principle is principle of respect of human dignity. Okay, so this principle is related to the human dignity. Two things are coming under the principle of human dignity. That is the right to self-determination and the right to full disclosure. First one is the right to self-determination according to this principle self-determination means the decision to participate in your research should be taken by the participant you can't force anyone to participate in your study it should be according to their decision the final decision should be taken by the participant only not the researcher you can't force don't force anyone to participate in your study. It is according to their will only. Okay. They have to take the decision. I will participate. I am ready to participate in this study. You can't force. As well as the participant have the right to ask the question. They have the right to ask the doubts. And they have the right to quit the study in between. In between also they have the right to quit the study as well as they have the right to reject from the participation of this study if they are telling i am not willing to participate in your research that is their right so all the decision should be taken by the participant only not the researcher the decision should be taken by the participant decision should be taken by the subject not by the researcher that is self determination self Final decision should be taken by the participant only. Okay. Next one is the right to full disclosure. The right to full disclosure. That means you have to tell or the researcher should share all the information related to the research to the participants. The researcher should share or the researcher should inform regarding all the things related to the research like the purpose of the research the risk of the research and the benefits of the research responsibility of the researcher as well as the responsibility of the participants you have to inform to them that is full disclosure you have to tell full thing related to the research all the things related to the research you have to disclose you have to tell to the participants and you have to collect the informed consent from the participants that means you have to get the or you have to take the permission from the participant yes i am ready to participate in this study i got all the knowledge regarding the research and i am willing to participate in the research you have to collect the informed consent from the participant that is the right to full disclosure okay next one is principle of justice so this principle is related to the justice two things are coming under principle of justice first one is the right to fair treatment okay the right to fair treatment that means there should not be any discrimination between the participants there should not be any discrimination between the participants that means equality should be there okay for example 10 persons are participating in your research among these 10 six participants are getting all the benefit and the remaining four is getting all the side effect or all the harm okay that is wrong all the benefit as well as the harm should be equally distributed okay all the 10 members should get all the benefits not to some people partiality should not be there so equality should be there there should not be any discrimination between the participants 
as well as discrimination according to the color, according to the sex, according to the financial status also should be avoided. Fair treatment to the participants. And if your participants are vulnerable group, for example, children or pregnant woman or mentally challenged person. So you should be aware and you should be cautious while dealing with them. Don't overuse them. Don't utilize them. Don't misuse them. You should be careful while handling the vulnerable group like children, pregnant women or mentally ill patients. That is fair treatment. Okay. Next one is the right to privacy. The right to privacy. It is related to the privacy privacy should be given to the participants the information provided by the participant should be confidential it should be secret all the information provided by the participant should be secret it should be confidential including the uh, personal data of the participant also should be confidential it should be secret you have to use only the information for your research only. Don't share the information without the knowledge of the participants. So privacy should be maintained. Confidentiality should be maintained. That is the last thing coming under the principle of justice. Okay. That's all regarding the ethical principles. We will meet soon with another video. Till that time, thank you and goodbye.